In the remove method for our heap sort code, we took away the root element, and we swapped in the last element into the root position, and then we did trickle down, right? But what we actually did was we swapped the root element and the last element. So in this case, we would have swapped the 22 and the 5, and then we trickle down the 5, and we remove our, we decrement our last position pointer so that we say the, where the 5 is, where the 22 moves to, is no longer part of the heap, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to take away the 22, we're going to swap in the 5, so we're going to put the 22 down here, and we're going to swap it into the 5, and we're going to say the 22 is no longer a part of the heap, but we're going to keep it there. So we take the 22, and we swap it with the 5, okay? So let me get a different color so it's clear. So here's our 22, and here's our 5. So now we have to um, correct our heap. So we take the 5, we swap it with the 19. So we've got 19, we've got the 5 here. Then we'll swap the 5 with the 11. So we've got 11 and 5, OK? So now we've got 5, 19, and 11 becomes 19, 11, and 5, all right? So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the 19 away. And the way that we do that is we take the 19 and we swap it with the 10. So we'll take this 19 and we'll swap it with this 10. 19 oops, and 10. And now we've got to do a trickle down on the 10. So we're going to swap the 10 with the 17. We're going to swap the 10 with the 15. So we end up with 17, 15, and 10. OK? Everybody happy with that? Not too much magic. So we've got 17, 15, and 10. I'm just going to change the color in my 5 so we don't get confused, and in my 11 so we don't get confused. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take away the 17. And the way that I do that is that I swap the 17 and the 9. So here's the 17. I'm just going to get rid of these so that we're, they're out of the picture. We don't get confused from them. We've got them remembered up here. So we've swapped the 17 and the 9. OK, so here's the 9. Here's the 17. We'll just swap those. But the 17 is not part of the heap anymore, because we've decreased our last element counter, our last position counter. So we've got a 9. So we've got to uh, readjust our heap. So we'll swap the 9 with a 15. And then we'll swap the 9 with a 12. So we'll end up with the 15, the 12, and the 9. So we swap the 9 and the 15, and the 12, and the 9. OK, everybody good? And now we take away the 15. The way that we do that is we swap the 15 and the 6. So here's the 15 and the 6 being swapped. 6, 15, and the 6. Here's the 15. Here's the 6. Now we've got to balance the heap again. So we've got 6. We'll swap that with the 12, and we'll swap it with the 10. So we've got 12, 10, 6. We've rebalanced our, we've resorted our heap. We've got 12, 10, and 6. Now we take the 12. We, the way that we take away the 12 is that we take the 12, and we swap it with the 7. That becomes 7. We take away the 7 and the 12. This becomes 7. This becomes 12. We've got to correct our heap. So we're just going to swap the 7 and the 11. 
So now our heap is 11, 7. We swap the 7 and the 11. Now our heap is 11, 7. Okay, good. Now we're going to take away the 11. The way that we take away the 11 is that we swap it with the 5. There's the 5. We take away the 11. Put the 5 in its place. And we put the 11 there. Now we've got to fix the heap again. We're going to swap the 5 with the 10, the 10 with the 9. And so we're going to end up with 10, 9, 5. Okay, swap the 5 with the 10 and the 9. We're going to end up with 10, 9, 5. We're going to take away the 10. The way that we take away the 10 is we swap it with the 6. We put the 6 up there. We take away the 10 and the 6. Here's the 6. Here's the 10. We've got to recorrect correct the heat. We just swap the 6 and the 9. Now we've got the 9 and the 6. We swap the 6 and the 9. 9 and the 6. Now we take away the 9. The way we take away the 9 is we swap it with the 5. We've got a 5. Swap the 5 and the 9. We've got the 9 and the 5. We've got to correct the heap. So we swap the 7 and the 5. So we swap the 7 and the 5. And now we take away the 7. The way we take away the 7 is we swap it with the 5. We've got the 5. Take away the 7 and the 5. So we've got the 7 and the 5. Now we've got to correct the heap. So we've got the 5 and the 6. So we've got the 5 and the 6. We take away the 6. We swap it with the 5. And we're done. Heap sort. Okay. The numbers are sorted. All we did is take things away. We just kept taking things away and everything ends up sorted. This is the heap sort algorithm. It's the first sorting algorithm that we've seen. And in a few weeks, we'll talk about more of the sorting algorithms. This particular sorting algorithm has complexity of big O of n times log n. Because as I was doing all those taking aways, we just compare two things, and then we go one way, right? And then we go one way, and then we go one way. In our trickle down, as we're doing our trickle down, we decide which way to go, and then we, can, we go down there. So we only have to compare n things to log n things. The other advantage of heap sort that's really nice is that, as you saw, we started with an array, and everything ended up in the same array. right? So we haven't made an extra copy of the data in any way. So heap sort is a, a really standard workhorse sorting algorithm. It's based on building a heap like, like I just showed you. And you just keep removing until there's nothing left. And when you've done those removes, you end up with a sorted array.